as a minister of Jesus Christ, we as a people are amongst the world of sin. That's right. So teaching must be fortified in such a way that we must not only learn the resurrection of Christ, yes. but you have to learn the resurrection of Satan. Did you hear the old man? Yes, we learn the resurrection of Christ. But you have to learn the resurrection of Satan. That's right. The Lord raised us from the dead. That's right. And Satan raised us in the dead. Second chapter of the book of Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. You. Hath he quickened. What? Who were dead. Who were dead. In trespasses and sins. You hath God quickened. 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 Who were dead. Dead. What, in, were, what were we buried in? In trespasses and sins. Satan raised us up in sin. That's right. God raised us up to take us out. out. Satan raised us up to be in it. Right. In other words, it's a battle for souls. Oh, yes. That's right. You better get this. That's right. Devil don't like you serving God. Oh, no. Not in spirit, not in truth. He don't like that. No, oh, no. Do you remember in the book of Jasher mm -hmm. when Satan was determined to keep Abraham from offering up Isaac? Yeah. What did he do? Came to Abraham like an old man. Old man. Called him silly. <laughs> That's right. Come to Isaac like a young man. Come to them both, appearing as a body of water to drown them. Drown them. Thank God, but Abraham experienced with God says he knew it. It was the devil. It was the devil. You have to have experience with God where you can differentiate between Satan and God. Yes, you must learn God, but you must learn Satan. That's right. Book of Genesis, let's go to the garden. Yes. And let's get the tree. That's right. And then let's see if such knowledge is in us. That's right. Follow me. Get me now. In the book of Genesis chapter 3. And we'll start at verse 1. Listen at the language of scripture. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the, the devil, Lord God had made. Serpent. Subtle. Subtle. Cunning. Yes. God said that he shall be cussed and crawl on his belly right. and eat dust. That's right. That doesn't mean the natural serpent eating dust by sticking out his tongue. The dust that he would eat, he will consume man. That's right. And consume woman. Yeah. And he's doing it too. He's doing it. Wrapping around man, wrapping around woman, subconscious thought, and choking the will of God out of them and consuming them head first by taking over their capacity to think. That's right. Wonderful. Wrapping and coiling himself around the human family, squeezing out of them their desire to obey God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you find your mind and your heart starting to turn away from God to go back out in the world, the serpent, serpent. is coiling around you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Your love towards God not the same no more. Why the serpent? Serpent. Thank God. It's coiling itself around you to choke out the love, the joy, the interest that you have towards God. That's right. And it takes God to pry them off of you. <laughs> Amen. Can't get them off on your own. No. And even if the devil swallow you, it takes God to get a hold of the serpent and make them throw you back up. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wonderful teacher. Glory to God. Now the serpent was more if subtle. If you see your brother or your yeah. sister being taken over by Satan, don't rejoice. That's right. If you see Satan starting to digest him, if you see that hand, he got the feet, the hip, the everything in, and the hand is hanging out the mouth. Hallelujah. Almost gone. Almost. 
until he digests them. And there's a big lump in his body. Even then, it's not over. Why? God said, if I lay my bed in hell, the prophet said, God is there. That's right. So if you find yourself in the belly of the serpent, the power of God can cut that serpent open and take you out of there. Hallelujah. Take you out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. If I'm in the belly, you're going to see the belly moving. That's What's right. going on? I'm fighting in fighting. there. Fighting. That's Glory right. God. I'm fighting in there. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Fighting. Yes. Maybe a struggle, but I'm fighting to get out of there. That's right. Notice what the word of God says in the book of Genesis here. Genesis 3 and verse 1. Now the, Solomon. Now the serpent was more subtle. The serpent was more tricky. Than any beast of the field. Thank God than any beast which, of the field. Which the Lord God had made. Which God made. And he said unto the woman, yea, hath God said. Yes. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, uh -huh. we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God had said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Yes. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. Ha. Hmm. Truth and lie. Watch it. That's right. You won't surely die. For God doeth no. Now truth. That in the day Start ye... Start off with lie. That's right. That's why you see that snake with a split at the end of his tongue. Split at the end. But the tongue that goes down into the body is one. That's right. That's true. He's divisive. Yeah. Yes. He separates you from the agenda of God and God's purpose. That's right. He had lied to you. Yes. Sounds good. Look at what the serpent says to the woman. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. You won't die. For God doeth know God that, knows. that in the day ye eat thereof. Thank God the day that ye eat thereof. Then, then your eyes shall be open. That's truth. That's truth. Your eyes will be open. And ye shall be as gods. You're going to be as gods. What does that mean? Knowing good and evil. That was truth. That was truth. That he was told true. them to touch That's right. not the tree. The tree. Didn't it? That's right. Of the knowledge That's right. of good and evil. and evil. Touch not the tree. That's right. Now, the tree... Knowledge start off as a seed. Yes. The knowledge of good and the knowledge of evil. And out of the ground. Listen at this quickly now. Genesis 2 and verse 9. What is it? And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. Yes. And good for food. Good for food. The tree, also, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden. All right. And the tree of the knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. Of good and evil. Of good and evil. He told them don't touch it. That's right. That's right. Touch, don't touch that. Don't touch it. There's a tree that consists of knowledge. It's the knowledge of two worlds. That's right. Good and evil. But of the tree of the knowledge. The tree of the knowledge. Of good and evil. Of good and evil. Thou shalt not eat of it. Don't you eat that. For in the day that Don't thou you eatest eat thereof. That's right. Because if you eat it, what will happen? For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's why everything is practically dead now. Right. They got the knowledge. Of good and evil. And they killed them. Mm. What are they? The living dead. That's right. There's the goodness of God. And there's the goodness of flesh. That's right. There's the evil of God. Uh-oh. I want to say evil of God, given the Old Testament, I believe it's in the book of Numbers, what Moses said to God. Yeah. And man, Moses jumped on God and told him, turn. Yes. I said, I said. That's right. There's the evil of God. And there's the evil of man. God evil is good. Man evil is wrong. God evil is righteous. Man evil is sin. And the book of Exodus. God evil is judgment. That's right. Totally different. 
Someone say, God can't do evil. Evil, God's evil ain't like yours. That's true. Let's get some Bible for this. The book of Exodus chapter 32, we'll start reading at verse 11. Listen and follow me and get me and learn. And Moses besought the Lord his God uh -huh. and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against why thy people? Why do your anger wax hot to these folk? Which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand. Yes. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak? And say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains uh -huh. and to consume them from the face of the earth. Yes. Turn from thy fierce wrath. Turn from thy fierce wrath. And repent of this evil against thy people. Come on. Ah. Amen. He told God to do what? Turn from thy Turn fierce wrath. From your fierce wrath. And repent. Re Here's a man telling God, repent. <laughs> My Lord. Lord, you talk about destroying their people. That's right. You going to do what, Lord? That's right. No, 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 no. I can't have that. No. Turn. Turn, Lord. From thy fierce wrath. From your anger. And repent. And repent. Of this evil against thy people. I want to say I thought God can't get wrong. He didn't. He didn't. Did God do evil? No. No. God was going to destroy Israel for their conduct, but in Moses' eyes, if he did it, it would be evil to him. That's right. Wasn't evil to God? No. But it was evil to Moses. That's right. That's why Moses brought up, now if you do this, we're going to give the Egyptians something to talk about. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and Wherefore, say? Wherefore, in other words, the Egyptians are going to do some backbiting about you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you're going to come along and deliver your people out the land of Egypt and show all these signs and wonders to do what? Send them out here and kill them? Kill them. Now, why you want to give them something to talk about? <laughs> That's right. My Lord. I don't agree with that, Lord. My Lord. Moses was pleading. Yes, he was. For God to show mercy. That's right. Upon the people, and the people had no idea. They provoked God in such a way, he was ready to wipe them all off the face of the earth. Now, therefore, let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them. Give chapter and verse. In Exodus chapter 32 and at verse 10. Look at what God said to Moses. Now, therefore, let me alone. Leave me alone. That my Don't wrath. Don't go pleading to me <laughs> about your people. That's right. I have seen this people. I've seen these devils. And behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Come on. Amen. I've seen these devils. That's right. I brought them out the land of Egypt, but what I get in return. That's right. They credit a calf instead of crediting me. Amen. I sent them manna from heaven. Yeah. That didn't satisfy them. I gave them quails. Yes. That didn't satisfy them. That's right. That's right. All what I've done, and then what I get in return, okay. in their heart, they turn right back into Egypt. That's right. Wanted to go back to where they were. That's right. Are oh, you listening to what I'm telling you? In Exodus 32 and verse 9, yes, I, and the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people. The Lord said to Moses, I see these folks. And behold, it is a stiff necked they people. They hard head. They stiff neck. Now, therefore, let me alone. Don't, hey. Before, before Moses started bothering him, he knew what Moses had in mind. That's Ain't right. no need for you to start no praying. Don't start making no intercession. That's right. Just get it out your mind and leave me alone. Let me alone. Amen. You know, God had to put the love in a man for people. That's right. God wrath can get ready to take so many people out and they're too dumb to know it. That's right. And God will show it to his servant and him and his servant may have it out. Amen. God ready to move in and the servant is pleading, don't you do that. That's don't right. go there. That's right. You the one said you're merciful. You the one say you are long suffering to us. What? That's right. You know, any time you can take God patience and push him mm. until he's ready to wipe out the entire nation. That's right. And then say, well, I raise up a nation that will obey. Right. It's good to have someone that God send 
that can go to God in behalf of the people yes. because sometimes the people is too busy acting like a fool right. until they act like God don't exist. That's right. I want you to understand. Hallelujah. It takes God to put in a man yeah. love for the soul of man. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. It to loving people and leading them on the straight path it's not an easy task. No, it's not. They'll cuss you. <laughs> They'll betray you. Yeah. They'll scandalize you. They'll plot to destroy you. Mm. They'll plot to kill you. They'll try to join you to take over. That's right. They'll be subtle in their motive and objectives. Yes. They'll steal from you. Yeah. One scripture talk about men stealers. Men stealers. Even in Moses' time, Israel rose up at him. That's right. There was a man named Korah, Korah. with about 250 noble and renowned. Yeah. Rose up against Moses. Up against Moses. That's God, and then God came along and shook the earth. That's right. Opened it up and swallowed them up alive. That's right. About 250, 250 of them. 250 of them. Including their children. That's right. Moses married an Ethiopian woman. Yeah. His brother and sister didn't like it. <laughs> That's right. They didn't like it. <laughs> Marion got beside herself. Had the Lord only spoken by Moses, Moses. have he not spoken oh, by, us? by us? What have God said? The Lord heard it. Lord heard it. God came out and said, come out, come you out three. three. Come on out. Come on out. You talk too much. That's right. I heard you come out. That's right. Here come Mary and Aaron and Moses. Come on out, you three. Come to the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. Listen. In the book I, of Numbers. I'd I, I, I rather for a CEO of a company come down. That's right. I'd rather for the president to come down. Oh, yeah. Can't make out what he say. No way. <laughs> but your creator. Creator. Your Lord. Amen. Who know all your thoughts. Right. You have no secrets. None. You can't hide. Your imaginations he knew before you was born. He can have the whole world stand before him and single out the first person to have a lie in their heart. Because he saw your lie before he made you. That's right. All of his predictions are correct. Yeah. He never error. Never He's flawless. He make no mistakes. Light and darkness, the prophet says, are equal to him. Equals him. Listen. In the book of Numbers chapter 12 and verse 5. Says what? And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. And what did the Lord say? And stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Mary. Uh -huh. And they both came forth. Yeah. And he said, hear now my words. Hear now my words. If there be a prophet if among you, I, I, the Lord, will make myself will known, make myself unto, him known unto him in a vision. And will speak and will unto speak him, to him in, a dream. in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. What? Who is faithful in all mine house. Uh -huh. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. I'm going to talk to him mouth to mouth. Even a parent. Even often, and not in dark and not in, I won't talk to him where he can't understand. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Yes. Wherefore then were you not afraid? Were you not afraid to speak to against, speak my, against servant Moses? my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. And, and he they, departed. And he what? And he departed. It's on now. It, that's right. It's on. He got angry and that's left. Right. That's right. He imagined someone getting angry and leave. <laughs> and now you don't know what's going to happen after. That's right. <laughs> And, and they got a reputation for a bad temper. That's right. And power. Amen. The Lord get angry mm. and leave. And, and just leave you there. That's right. <laughs> well, what, 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 what's going to happen? Yeah. What's, yeah. what's next? What's next? Because you can't breathe unless he lets you. That's right. That's right. You can't see unless he keep you there. That's right. You can't think unless he make your mind function. Yeah. He can smite you, take your legs away. Mm. Make your whole body like a rubber band. You got to be carried like an infant. That's right. Let us understand and respect the fact we are nothing in the eyes of God. Amen. Until he said our righteousness is as filthy rags. 
Let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think soberly. soberly. Don't even look at how long you've been saved. The devil will trick you there. That's right. Make you get comfortable and ease. Or woe unto them that are ease in Zion. That's right. I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ over 50 years. I had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. <laughs> I should know it by heart it. now. <laughs> Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. <laughs> about, about, about 47 years. Wow. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue about 47 years. Mm. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. My Lord. About 47 years. Mm. I've been preaching 45 years. Oh, yeah. Lord. Been pastoring 37 years. Yeah, you add up to over 100. Over, well over 100. But I ain't getting ease. No, no. Look and get how long you've been walking with God and you focus on that. You can deceive yourself, trick yourself, overestimate yourself, underestimate the devil. That's right. And the moment you underestimate the devil, you become vulnerable for his prey. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. What if God says what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And? And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. What is it? And behold, Mary became leprous, white as snow. Wait a minute. They had no clue what God was going to do. No. God left. Oh, That's yeah. right. The next thing you know what happened? Mary became leprous. Be but he got, she got afflicted with leprosy. White as snow. White as snow. All because she opened her mouth That's right. against God's servant. That's right. That's right. What if God said, touch not my anointed? Don't yeah, touch him. Don't touch him. That's right. May not understand it, but don't touch him. That's right. Do my prophet, do my messenger no harm. No harm. All right, let's go back to the book of Timothy. I, I, I just can't get everything I want to get. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Listen at this now. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. All right. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. God speaketh expressly. God yes. talked through the prophets. God talked through the apostles. In the form of scriptures that I will, may have, we may have divine education and divine information to govern our life. I can't preach to someone who just got baptized, live holy. They got to be taught how to live holy. That's right. And to be taught how to live holy, they got to be able to understand what is holiness. What is holiness? There are lessons in the precept of living holy. Oh, yes. Sure. There's something you can't jump up and do. No. Living holy, self-denial, living holy, living free from sin, living holy, pleasing God, living holy, a lifetime of submission to God. That's right. Living holy, overcoming your will. Yeah. Living holy, not letting your will take you over. Right. Living holy, long as you live, be humble. Be humble. Living holy, don't break none of God's commandments. It's tough. Anyone tell you it's, even, it's easy to live holy? Something's wrong with them. Something's wrong with them. That's right. It ain't easy to live holy. No. When a person says it's easy to live holy, they must came, they must ain't got much experience in life. That's right. You know, they may have been somewhere crocheting all their life or, you know, just you know, <laughs> sheltered. Sheltered. Yeah, sheltered. That's right. You know, just sat in the house and watched Gene London once in a while and the Pixie Dixie show. <laughs> Captain Noah, Captain Kangaroo, remember them? Oh, Shelter, yeah. Just sitting there watching the Lone Ranger, and, you know, black and white screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't experienced nothing. Nothing. But you take a person, bless God, they got the experience of the world out there. They at constant conflict with their own mind, soul, body, and that's, spirit. That's right. And it becomes an right. argument. Yeah. There's two wheels two there. Wheels. Pastor Paul, see, I say, he said, I see another, another law. law. In, in my, my members, members, warring against the law of my mind. Against the law of my mind. The only way of war against the law of the mind, it is because the mind now got information it never had. I find then a law that when I would do good, when I would do good, evil is present with me. Wait a minute, get it out now. <coughs> Come on, get it out. <coughs> a little choked get there. Get it out. You're choking. <coughs> a little. You ain't trying to downplay the evil, are you? <laughs> You got evil present with you? Oh, Pastor. Do you, want uh, some, you want some water? Pastor, Romans chapter Do 7. Do you need some water? I'm, I'm, I'm good, Pastor. One of y'all get him a bottle of I water. I got water right here, Pastor. Water? Yeah. All right, go ahead. 
Romans chapter 7. The evil don't want to come out. <laughs> Rebuke the devil. <laughs> come on, William. Romans chapter 7 and verse 21. I don't know what happened, Pastor. I find then a law. <laughs> I find then a law that when I would do good. Evil still working in him. <laughs> come on, William. Get it out of him. Evil is present with me. Glory to God. Evil is what? Is present with me. Where is it? Is present with me. Is present. Is present. Glory That's to God. all we need to go, Pastor. That's <laughs> Glory all. to God. Come on, son. For I delight in the law of God. I delight. Do you delight in God's law? Amen. All the time? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not all the time. Listen, when I first asked that, Logan yelled, oh, yes. <laughs> I said all the time. He just crossed his leg and said, <laughs> Glory to God. I delight. I delight in the law of God. In God's law, God's precept, God's order. order. Now, for me to delight in God's law, I must willingly accept a law that I don't feel like obeying. That's right. But if I obey it long enough, it becomes easier for me to obey. That's right. Then what I used to could not delight in, now it, I can delight in it. That's right. Over a period of time. Yes. That's, wonderful. That's the truth of it. That's wonderful teaching. Many of you, when you first heard this, whether it was over social media, radio and television, many of you. Probably thought this was the most meanest thing you ever heard. Evil. Evil. Some folks said, uh, they gave me their testimony. Some said, I thought you was angry every day. <laughs> one man said, I thought you just lost your mind. <laughs> As one sister said, she said, when I first heard you, I thought the reason why you sound the way you did was because I heard you talk about you got hit by a truck. <laughs> Truck didn't, <laughs> the truck didn't do this damage. No, no. All right, thank God. God of heaven done it. Brother, he done it well. Yes, he did. God will is opposite from us. Oh, yes. He set before us life and death. And then tell us choose. Yeah. Ye this day whom you're going to serve. If God be God, serve him. If Baal, Satan, is God, serve him. I set before you light and darkness. I set before you good and evil. I set before you holy and unholy. That's right. And none of God's will is forced upon us. That's right. He said in the first chapter of the book of Isaiah, Isaiah. if ye be willing and obedient, and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the he land. He said you will eat the good of the land. Of the land. But if you rebel, but if you refuse, if you refuse and rebel and rebel, you shall be devoured with shall, the sword. Who said it? For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Yeah. That's why the word of God says, whosoever will, will, let him come. That's why we tell everybody who come into the knowledge of the way of God. And then you try to talk to your family about it, your friend about it, and they get angry and cuss yeah. you out. And then you get mad and say, I don't understand why you can't see it. I'm showing it to you. <laughs> you ain't always see it. That's right. So why you don't understand they can't see it? Yeah. Just keep in mind, you didn't always see it. That's right. And there's some things in the word of God you still can't see. Amen. The message is not designed to be forced on you. No. You got to have a listening ear and the willingness to be compliant. That's right. Fourth chapter. Go back to the book of Timothy quickly. Back in 1 Timothy 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Seduced. Seduce. To undermine. That's right. To trick. To con. Yeah. To maneuver you out of the will of God. That's right. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Spell spirits. S-P-I-R-I-T-S. Numerous ways that Satan has oh, yes. 
to maneuver you out of God's will. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Seducing spirits. 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 And sometimes that seducing spirit come in the form of a friend. That's right. A preacher. Yeah. A brother, a sister, yeah. a family member. Yeah. An employer. That's right. So-called church brother. Yeah. Or so-called church sister. Yeah. Right. Sure. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Maybe the boy you're interested in, you talk about marrying him. Mm. The sister you're interested in, you're talking about marrying. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Listen. Giving heed to seducing spirits. And what do they carry? And doctrines of devils. Information from hell. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. that's right. Information from hell, that's the skies as information from God. Amen. Information from the devil that's wrapped in a scriptural package. That's right. So you can't see the written, the real hidden agenda of Satan. Yeah. All you see is the scriptures that is camouflaged with. That's right. In other words, that brother come and that sister think he's the most spiritual thing on earth. <laughs> Amen. Always talking about Jesus. Oh. Jesus this, Jesus that, Paul this. Paul that, Samson the other, Samson yeah. this, Samson, uh, just keep that going on before they got married. Yeah. That's right. After they got married, she cut him, he cut her. He slap her. Yeah. He beat her. He choke her. He knock her on the ground and kick her in the kick gut her. and stomp her. Mm. He used scripture to lure you to the altar and use it as a camouflage to hide his wicked, devious agenda. That's right. Right. Are you getting it? Amen. Seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. She come along. Hmm. Playing with your hair. <laughs> That's right. Or rubbing your scalp if you ain't got no hair. Yeah. Whispering sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. <laughs> That's right. Stroking your ego, building you up. Yeah. You know, egos don't have no place in a relationship. No. no. Because if you're the type of man or woman that need a lifetime of compliments so you can feel as though you're something, you're a pitiful human being. Yeah. Come on. That's true. That's right. That's right. Spell ego. E G O. Spell it again. E G O. Acronym. Ego. Spell ego, everybody. E G O. E. Ease. G. God. O. Out. That's right. He or she will ease God out. Amen. Right out of your life. Right out of your life. Wonderful. Ease them right out. That's right. See, stroke your ego, tell you what you love to hear. Yeah. I'm glad that our strength is not in our hair, like Samson. Right. Else you'd be in trouble, Pastor. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he got the nerve to uppercut me. You see him? He got the nerve to uppercut me. That's the devil out of hell. Amen. <laughs> 